everybody. This is Tim Berkwin from MemberCon.com. I've gotten a few emails over the past week asking me how I record my interviews, what equipment I use, and how I make that happen. So I thought I'd do a quick video of my equipment and how I use it to record the interviews that I do and then create the videos and the podcasts and everything I do for MemberCon.com, but also for our other membership site, TraderInterviews.com and uh, some other ones that we're working on as well. So let's go through some of the equipment here. And uh, sorry, this is really informal video. I'm, I'm doing this with my handheld Flip Ultra HD, but uh, I think you'll get the idea of it. So the first part of the chain of equipment here is a digital hybrid. And what a digital hybrid does is it allows me to split the phone conversation to adjust the levels independently for my voice and my caller's voice, my interviewee's voice. The one I use is a... Uh, JK Audio Innkeeper 1X Digital Hybrid and on the front here you see a few buttons it's got a call button when I transfer the call to the hybrid I'll show you how I do that the drop button that hangs up after I'm done these uh, right here are the levels that allow me to adjust the level for my caller and for me um, the send is actually when it's transferred the call is transferred to the digital hybrid that's my voice going back to the caller so they can hear me ask the questions and hear my side of the conversation I don't use the caller level right now because I'm using uh, the mix that the digital hybrid sends to my recorder. I'll show you how that works. But the send and the caller, that's how much volume for each one goes into the mix. So as you can see, the caller's volume is higher for uh, their side of the conversation than it is for mine because typically the caller's voice is a lot lower. Now, I adjust this for every single call because, of course, there have been calls where I've called the next city over and it sounds terrible, there's a lot of phone noise, they're using a cheapy phone, or there's just noise on the line. I've called Russia and done interviews and it sounds like they're next door. So this allows me to adjust the levels of the conversation no matter where they are and what kind of phone they're on. Some just sound better than others, some sound great, some sound kind of crummy and you do the best you can to adjust the levels and then adjust it in the software and post as well. So. What I'll show you is how it goes. There's a phone connected here. I just use a just a really cheapy GE phone just to get the call going. And uh, let's look at the back here of how things are plugged in. So as you can see, I have uh, nothing goes into the caller line right now because I'm using the mix, the mix out. And uh, the send is what goes again to the caller. So I have uh, XLR jacks into the send and into the mix out. So let me show you where each of those goes. So mix out is the back one here. And uh, that one goes to my recording device. And what it is, it's a Marantz CDR420. It's a, uh, a recording device that has a hard drive, but it also has a CD burner right in it. So you can burn a CD, which is kind of nice for anything you want to do. So mix out from the digital hybrid goes into the CDR420. And then I also have from the Send, which is an XLR jack, that goes over to my microphone, which is an Electro Voice RE20. Pretty standard for a lot of radio stations. Having a great microphone really helps in the quality of your audio. Not so much for voice, but if you have trouble with the overall quality of the con their conversation, at least you're going to sound great. And so my microphone goes into the digital hybrid into the Send. That's how the caller hears me. It comes back out from the mix into the recorder that's both of us me and my interviewee and I'll show you what I do here I basically just can test the audio levels here and I'll snap into the microphone so you can see the levels well it's not that high right now but hello testing one two so anyway I can see the levels and I can see it as I'm recording it so I can make adjustments on the digital hybrid to bring the callers level up or my level up if need be and then uh, I don't burn a CD to it what I do is I basically take this USB because it's got a hard drive which is great I take the USB over and uh, plug it right into my laptop and I use um, Adobe Audition to adjust my audio or to record my audio excuse me to edit my audio and then I also use a really cool tool called the Levelator it's uh, from a guy named Doug K he has a site called the Conversation Network that puts it out. What it does is the software that takes any WAV file, you drag it over to the level later. It levels both the volume of my voice and my caller's voice so it's the same. Again, I try to adjust it as much as I can on the digital hybrid 
so that uh, I don't have to do is so much levelating in post, but sometimes you can only do so much. I can only crank up the collar so much and it starts to sound really terrible, so the levelator really helps out. So I'll show you what I do basically when I get a call. I sit down here at that and I pick up the phone and I dial the number and as soon as I'm done I hit the call button and then hang up and as you can see now both lights are green and that transfers the call basically to the digital hybrid I use the just a the mix monitor it's just an earbud basically the eighth inch that I've got into a, a quarter inch adapter that allows me to uh, just put this in my ear that way I can hear the caller in my ear instead of in the phone and then I just talk into the microphone and the caller hears me through the microphone rather than the phone now and then when I'm done I just go back and I click drop and that hangs up the call when I'm done that's it and so to make my videos I basically just go back to my computer and I make a power this is pretty low end I mean I do really uh, pretty low low technology but I make PowerPoint slides I do a save as for the PowerPoint presentation and you can save as JPEGs for each slide then I take those JPEGs and I drag them into Windows Movie Maker drag my audio from the recording device after it's been edited in Adobe Audition into that and then I just drag the slides in as it goes in real time so I'm kinda of creating the video in real time mix it all down save it as a, a, a wave a .wmv upload it to blip.tv and they encode it in flash and then gives me an embed code I then take that and embed it into my blog at membercon.com so that's it quick rundown of how I record the interviews and uh, Anybody can do this. A lot of people use Skype, of course, or some other voice over IP. I just have never been a fan of that. I think if uh, someone's got a lot of things running or they don't have great bandwidth, you get it, it cuts out a lot, so it has to do a lot with their internet connection. So this is you know, the old school radio way of getting a caller onto your show, and that's what I've always used. And so I don't have to be concerned if they have Skype or if they know how to use it. All they have to know how to use is their phone, which I think everybody does. And so they just, I call them or they call me and I take care of it all from there. So, uh, Some people have great experiences with Skype. Uh, I just don't have that great of experience in either A, my audience being able to know how to use it, or um, it just doesn't sound that great. It gets digitized, it cuts out, so the digital hybrid, I think, uh, works best for me. That's it. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you at membercon.com. Mm -hmm.